once again with another YouTube video. So yes, we are going to discuss the 10 keys to defeating the Chiefs. We are going to discuss the 10 keys to defeating the Kansas City Chiefs. So we are taking on the Kansas City Chiefs and Arrowhead on their field this Sunday at, well on the East Coast, they're going to show at 4.30, 4 4.30. So on the outside, it might show like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. But I want to get into this real fast and discuss my opinion on how the Raiders can beat the Chiefs. So coming at number one, the Raiders wide receivers must get hot. Their receivers must get hot. It's like our wide receiver core been quiet. It been inconsistent lately. You haven't heard any, like, what I'm trying to say is, we haven't had any big plays. We haven't attacked many opposing teams secondary. So there's an issue there. Tyrell Williams has been quiet. Zay Jones has been quiet. Renfro has been quiet lately. But he got hurt, so now he won't be playing Sunday. So someone like Keelan Dawes, Trevor Davis, or Rico Gaffer might be taking his spot. Somebody like them. So it might be Zay Jones will be put in at the slot, or Keelan Dawes will be put in at the slot. And expect them to get a lot of plays, playing time. So, this is why I say our wide receivers must get hot this game. They must get hot this game. And then carry on for the rest of the season. After week 13, that's it. Week 13, you got to show yourself. You got to show off week 13. It's your time to shine now. Whoever going to take Hunter Renfro's spot, you got to show off. And the other receivers got to get hot. All our receivers got to get hot. Because y'all been too quiet. And teams is saying that. So, what better time to get hot is week 13 to show teams that, yes, we have good wide receivers and, yes, we can make a run in the playoffs. So, coming in number two, we got to stay consistent on all phases of the, on all phases. We got to stay consistent on special teams. We got to stay consistent on defense. We got to stay consistent on offense. The, the offensive line got to stay consistent. The defensive line got to stay consistent. The secondary got to stay consistent. The kicker got to stay consistent. Carl got to stay consistent. Jason Jacobs got to stay consistent. So when we come into being inconsistent, inconsistent, that's when things go wrong. So we got to stay consistent. We got to keep doing what we're doing. We got to correct our mistakes. We got to play good football each game, every play, every down, every quarter. Got to play every good football. So, number three, we have to get after Patrick Mahomes. There's no excuse to let him stand back there comfortably, scan the field, then let him use his weapons against us. So, we cannot have that same mistake that happened in week three against the Chiefs on our field. So, now we got to do what they did to us against them on their field. So, that's why I put wide receivers must get hot at number one. And Raiders must stay consistent at number two. And number three, we got to get out of my homes. Got to get her uncomfortable. And that's, that's basically it for the first three. So number four, they got to cut out their penalties. And that's why I put stay consistent at number two. So we got to cut out the penalties. Penalties hurting us. We can't keep giving these teams good field positions and good yardage to make, make it easier for them to score. Like, when we're supposed to get off the field on defense, our defense needs to get off the field. Offense, we be hurting ourselves with that false start and offensive pass and friend stuff. We take ourselves out of position to score. We be hurting our own selves when it comes to penalties. So we got to cut out the penalties, man. If we want to win the division or be tied for first place in the division and beat the Chiefs, we got to cut out the penalties. We can't see when that penalties. We plan with them, helping them win. So we can't help them win. So being disciplined and cutting out the penalties will help us out a lot. The less penalties we make, the better chances of us beating them in our head. 
But just expect them to cheat. Referees be cheating. So, number five, we got to win the turnover battle. We have to win the turnover battle. We got to go out there and help Derek Carr. There's no ill fans or buts about it. We got to actually help out Derek Carr. So, winning the turnover battle will help out a lot. That will keep our offense on the field. So, that will give us excuse a chance to manage the clock, control the game. So, John, what do John Green do best? Control the game when he is in making the play calls. So, while he in car ear, he can like control the game, calm down car, and call some good plays. You got to call it some good plays, man. You got to call some good plays. Then the defense got to get off the field. We just can't allow teams to keep torching, tiring out our defense. So we got to get out the those teams, offensive players. Deep, yeah, you got to get um, out the, their offensive players. They got to get out of my home. So, number six, stop big plays. What is Kansas City known for? Big plays. Why? Because Patrick Mahomes stand back there too comfortably. You give him too much time to scan the field. When you give him time to scan the field, that's when their receivers use their speed and get open. They run open. They find a way to get open. Even when their route is over, they still run it around to get open. So, the one-on-one -on -one matchups, what our defense like to do is go man-to-man, one-on-one matchups. So, Kansas City like to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one matchups. So, with them being an early head, you already know they're going to try to show off. So, we got to be on the lookout for big plays. So, stop big plays. So, expect them to try to attack our secondary. So, number seven is to protect Derek Carr and the football. So, we playing the cold weather again. Hopefully, the field condition is fine. But our offensive line got to protect Carr. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, protect car. Cause you don't protect car, and car already haven't won a game yet in Earlhead, and he don't play well in cold weather. So you got to protect car. You got to build this man confidence up. You he already playing Earlhead where he never won. Then he don't play well in the cold. So you got to build his confidence up somehow. So you gotta protect Carr in the football. So when Carr throw the ball to our receivers, y'all got to catch the ball, man. You got to catch the ball. You got to make a play. Get out of bounds if you think you're gonna fumble. So number eight, adjust after the first half. I don't understand why defense offense do not adjust after the first half. Coming off, coming off, coming out of halftime. Why don't we adjust? I don't understand. They run the same old plays, do the same old stuff. They just don't adjust. You got to adjust. You got to throw stuff at teams that they would not expect. You just got to. I just don't understand why Gruden and Gunther never adjust. Other teams adjust to us, but we don't never adjust to them. So, number nine, we have to blitz more. We got to blitz more. We got to get out the D quarterbacks. We got to get out the homes. If we blitz more, we can stop the run, slow down the run, slow down home, force home to throw, make throws you don't want to throw. So, if we blitz more, like, got to blitz some linebackers. Got to come down and blitz some safeties. Good that we're getting it on. Uh, LaMarcus Jordan back. It's a good piece. Like, it's a leadership piece right there. So, yeah, hopefully, Gunther draws some plays to get out of Mahomes. Because he already know what we're dealing with. He already know... What we coming into, coming inside Arrowhead in December, cold weather. So he already know what time it is. So hopefully he draws some blitz plays and disguising plays. So I'm not going to put all the blame on Gunther, but hey, we got to blitz more. We got to get out the running back, quarterbacks. Got to shut down these big plays, man. But last, number 10, attack their secondary and run the football. We gotta attack their secondary and run the football. It's all about game management, man. We gotta <clears throat> show them that our receivers are good too. Our receivers are good too. Even though they be quiet, but our receivers good too. And we gotta run the ball. You Jacobs. If you gotta run Jacobs 
get him 40 Tetris, they didn't do it. Control the game. Attack their secondary, run the football. But best believe, Kansas City run stop defense isn't that well. It is not that well. So hopefully, Gruden draw some plays, get our receivers involved, get Derek Carr confidence, shoot, shoot the ball down the field, and run the football. Run the football down their damn throat. You got to. got to do what you got to do. Well, all right, y'all, Raider Nation. I'm off. This your boy, LB. And see y'all later.